One of the most important new ways that, that users will interact with your app in WatchKit is something called context menus. Context menus are brought up by holding down on the screen. And as you can see, they come up with buttons over the top of your app. Of course, when these buttons are pressed, they do things to what's currently on the screen. So let's get started by adding a context menu to a WatchKit app. So the first thing you need to do is search for the menu down here in the object library. It's right down the bottom here as menu. You can drag it over onto the screen and drop it. It comes up and it comes up here in the whatever this is. So by default you have one menu item. When you go to the attributes inspector of this menu item you have the title of the menu item and you also have the option to add images. You can either add your own image to, of course, the image um, assets file there, or you can select one of these um, example images. So add, accept, so on. You can, if you go back to this menu item, you can press. So if you go back to the attributes inspector of this menu item, you can add up to four of these uh, menu buttons or context menu buttons. Of course, each you can do the same thing in changing the title and setting the image. So once you have your menu item, you're going to want to do something when it's pressed. To do that, again, it's really simple. Here, of course, I have the intelligent editor with the interface controller file. And to connect one of my buttons to my um, to an action, I just control drag from this menu into the Intelligent Editor's interface controller file. And then I can go context button. And just for example, I'm going to add a print line in here. Of course, you can do whatever you want in this function. Now that we've had we've done all this, we're just going to run our app and I'll show you how the context menu works. So once we have our app running in the simulator, to get the context menu up, we just hold down our cursor, and there comes our context menu. We've only linked an action to this top button, so when we press that button, you can see down here in our console, something comes up from that print line. Of course, you can link to each of those buttons, you should link to each of those buttons, and add the logic you want for that context menu button.